All right. Hi. Storytime Tuesday. Here's a story. Uh, I sit at the drums all the time, like this. I've been playing drums for 29 years. That's not news to anybody who pays attention to my Instagram. But the story is, right around age 25, 26, I was having a lot of back pain. And I would do this all the time. Because it felt like that's what... Like, the pain that I was feeling in my back made me think that that would help. Arching it like that. Maybe, like, pull the shoulders back or whatever. Um, it was my lower back that was hurting. And I think I was in the habit of doing that kind of, like, arching thing all the time. I would do it in the car. My back was hurting as I drove around in the car. I would do it, you know, sitting at the drum set during sound check or whatever, um because my back was hurting. But I would also do it, like, I think, sitting in restaurants and sitting backstage and whatever. And a guitar player friend of mine, uh, his name is Aaron Ankrum, fantastic recording engineer, guitar player, songwriter, vocalist. Uh, I've known him for a long time. And Aaron is also, he's very fit. He's very in shape. He's always been, he's always, he's always taken really good care of his body. And when I was 25, man, I knew nothing about eating right or how to take care of my body exercise. I didn't know anything about any of that. I didn't care. I just wanted to play drums. And then, you know, lo and behold, my back is hurting. And Aaron said to me one day at a sound check, he was like, hey, why do you always do that with your back? And I'm like, Ooh, I don't know. Like, my back hurts because I, you know, I sit on a drum throne all the time. This is like the story that I'm telling myself. I sit on a drum throne all the time, so my, my lower back really hurts. And he was like, I don't think it's the drum throne's fault, man. Like, you have pretty good posture when you, when you play. Uh, can you touch your toes? And I was like, what is this, gym class, man? Like, I don't know. <laughs> and he's like, you should try it. So I, I stand up and I, I try to touch my toes. And I can barely get my hands past my knees. Mm -hmm. And he's like, that's the issue, dude. Like, I think it's the hamstrings. I can't even, I can't even remember the name of the muscle, but like... The lower back and then the muscle that's on the like the back of my thighs. He's like, Th those need to be stretched out. Like the more often you sit on a drum throne, the more important it is. Or sit on any stool. I mean, like drummers call the stool a, dr a throne. It's kind of stupid, but like anybody sitting on a stool often uh, would benefit from stretching those muscles out regularly. And I didn't know that, so I was never doing anything to stretch the muscles out. He was like. Just stretch, you know, every morning or every night before you go to bed or maybe both for a little while and see if you can get to the point where you can touch your toes. I bet that'll really help. Boy, he was he was right because like within a year I could touch my toes. Um, these days I can get my whole, my palms on the floor all the way on a good day or like at the very least my knuckles on any other day. Uh, it wasn't long before I could just fingertips touch my toes after having not been able to get them even past my knees, right? And it made all the difference. My back has, my lower back has not hurt since. Like that took care of that, he was right. And, oh, that was really helpful. So, okay, fast forward then like a year, um, maybe maybe a year or two, I'm 26, 27, and I'm having a lot of forearm pain. Uh, and I go to the doctor, like, hey, my forearms hurt pretty bad, like sore, thinking maybe the doctor would know you know, some tricks like Aaron did. Sure enough, he told, like, once he found out I was a drummer, he gave me this little pamphlet of stretches. And actually, that's that's why I'm talking about this uh, this week, because last week for Q&A Thursday, somebody asked a question about wrist stretches and do I do any? And when, when I answered and said that I do, I got a, like a couple dozen DMs from drummer friends who were like, dude, can you share those stretches with, with me? Because I have the same kind of pain, the same kind of forearm pain. So, um... Here's what I learned from the doctor, ready? Uh, arm out, palm away, fingers up. Kind of like try to be as straight up with the fingers as possible. That's already, the stretch is already happening, right? And then just rotate in so the thumb is down. Rotate the other direction so the thumb is up. And then you pull the wrist in the opposite direction, kind of make a fist. So now the top of my hand is facing away. Rotate under, so my thumb is down. Rotate back. If I really want to get a lot out of the stretch, I'll like pull on my wrist, pull my hand toward myself like this. Or else like when I open back up and repeat, pull into the fingers and then pull in on the fingers that way. Uh, that's it. Both hands. Stretching that out. Bang, my forearm 
pain is gone. Like ever since I, I have not had that same discomfort that I had uh, up to that point in my, in my 20s. Um, last thing that I do pretty regularly, again, this story time Tuesday this week is basically just like advice for drummers. So if you're not a drummer, too bad. I mean, in general, I'm surprised as a human being how little I understood about my body when I was like a full on adult in my 20s. Maybe it's part of being an American. Maybe it's part of being like um, a squirrely kid during school and not paying attention during health class or I don't know, like for whatever reason, I just didn't know anything about how to take care of myself, eat right, stretch, exercise, whatever. And as I've gotten older, I'm finding certain activities to be really helpful specifically for me as a drummer. So here, here's drummer activity number three, before I play a gig, after I play a gig, and then oftentimes like in the morning when I wake up, I do arm circles, 15 seconds, four different positions. Uh, 15 seconds for me is like one deep, long inhale and long exhale. And that's about 15 seconds. So I'll do that. Uh, palms up, tight circles going forward. That's position number one. Inhale, exhale, stop. Same thing, but going backwards. Tight arm circles, palms up, going backwards. And then I'll stop, palms down, big arm circles going backwards. Like more of the shoulder involved and stuff. Stop, big arm circles going forward, palms down, whatever. I learned that from P90X. I remember doing P90X on tour with the Owl City guys when I was like 32. Um, those are the three things that I do consistently. Try to touch my toes, like every morning just stretch the back out because I'm sitting on a, a stool all the time playing drums. Um, wrist, these wrist stretches that I mentioned, do that. I do that like kind of throughout the day. If you know me well enough, you've probably seen me do that. And it's not because my arm is hurting, it's like a proactive thing to keep my arm from hurting. Because I'm doing these kind of like fine motor skill, like wrist, repetitive wrist action things, you know, so often. Um, and then the arm circles uh, in the morning, oftentimes when I get out of bed, but then definitely like before and after a gig, I'll do that. And I, listen, I mean, I'm not trying to brag. I, I'm 40 years old, I've been playing drums for 29 years. I don't have any pain while I do it. And that wasn't the case when I was like mid twenties, technically, you know, younger, like healthier, my body's like in better shape, but I wasn't taking care of it. These kinds of actions, the stretches and whatnot, like they, they really help in, in the realm of just like, in the effort to take care of myself, especially uh, like special kind of care because of the drum set. Um, last thing I want to say for story time Tuesday this week about drummers and drumming and whatever. Um, I remember feeling a lot of fatigue and discomfort, almost like, like the burn that you feel in your muscle when you're working out at various points along the way for me, when, especially when I was younger, when I was learning certain things and trying to build my stamina, right? So like, let's say a lot of kick drum hits, like 16th notes up and down, like, like my full knee motion, I'm doing like the full like stomp action. I'm not just like tapping with my ankle, I'm trying to get like powerful rock and roll, like kick drum hits and like build up that stamina. I would, I would do that exercise for as long as my, my leg could take it when I was in college in particular. And I remember like feeling the burn of that muscle uh, in my thigh. I would, I would reach down, play the beat with just one hand. So I could reach my other hand down and like massage my thigh muscle and kind of like force blood into those muscles so I could keep going. I was super gung ho, you know, like, um, and there's, there's some of that energy in, in, in music, especially with drums. There's like a, if you've seen whiplash, the kid is like sweating and bleeding. It's like this kind of like military, like sports athlete, like, wow, like Gatorade commercial thing. Um, and that's, that's part of it with the drums in particular compared to like piano playing maybe. Uh, anyway, the point is I, I, I've felt fatigue and the discomfort that comes with fatigue. I have also felt at times pain. And those two things are different. Like pain is the body's way of saying, this is what I've learned at least now that I'm 40. Pain is the body's way of saying, stop doing this. Like we are, hurt, we are being hurt. We are being injured. We, the body, need you to stop doing this because injury is taking place. 
versus fatigue and the discomfort that comes from fatigue, which is basically the body's way of saying like, wow, this is a workout, <laughs> you know. Uh, the difference between pain and fatigue, it really matters. Uh, I remember kind of like briefly like pulling, kind of like injuring this muscle in my forearm when I was like 20 years old and I was learning how to do the up-tempo ride symbol, um, like jazz, like Tony Williams kind of Max Roach thing. You know, if you've got a jazz tune and the bass line is like do 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 like that kind of tempo. You got to do that for seven minutes straight if you're playing jazz, and and yeah, it's very fatiguing. And I wanted to like learn how to do it, and I was super kind of channeling that whiplash kid energy of Gatorade commercial, and like just go, and I can feel my arms start to like hurt, not just fatigued, not just like tired. I'm like, oh, this is a workout. But like, there was like pain started to shoot through it. Like, whoa, I gotta stop. And I talked to my drum teacher about it, Dave King. Um, I've mentioned him before. Dave King is the man. Uh, he taught me so much and he was, he was very wisely articulating to me at that time everything that I'm saying right now about the difference between pain and fatigue. Uh, so again, if you're a drummer and you're like, man, Steve, what are your wrist exercises? Because my wrist hurts. Except it's like a, like a pain, not like a soreness, um, and not like fatigue while you're practicing, but like an actual like pain. Like I've talked to some students of mine that experienced that. That's a big deal. You don't want to mess around with that. If that's how you're feeling, message me. Like DM me. Let's talk about it. Uh, I was really glad that my teacher had good things to say to me. Here I'm trying to pass that along to everyone else, drummers who follow this account. Um, summary: I did not know anything about how my body worked when I was 25. Like the physicality, the physical demands of playing the drum set, there were specific things that I needed to learn how to do to kind of like counteract those physical demands. And I'm so glad that I learned them. Uh, summary of those things, my back was hurting, so I learned how to touch my toes. Really helps. My wrists were, were sore, so I do these stretches and I still do them. And then just general like upper body stretching uh, I noticed how much more comfortable I was after playing a 90 minute rock show when I would regularly do arm circles. That's that. Story time Tuesday.